Alright. Listen here, fuckers. I'm gonna go kill some shit. Do some quests. Get wizard bitches. I cast a bunch of fucking curses. Can I drink some water? Oh, what the fuck am I doing? We could do this after I let these animals out of my nab sack because I forgot to do it before. Fuck you, Deke. Hey, Deke. Settle yourself. I mean you no harm.
would like to talk with you when you have a moment. Shut the fuck up, Geek. Good fucking lord. Go all the way down here. It's like a place right out of a storybook. Oh, nothing like being. Weeks wasn't wrong about the mountain views. If it isn't the fastest Gryffindor, Revelio. We are your shit. Hello, Amelda. So, another trial? Of course, it's another trial. And you'd better be taking part. Does this mean you've changed your mind about me? Well, you're a step up from the good-for-nothings who usually challenge me. While they sit around and hope to be the best, I put in hours of practice. No one sets records by wishing for them, and I need strong competition to stay on top of my game. Are you going to try to beat my flying record or not? I'm ready to fly. Finally, a decent challenge. All right. I'd say that was acceptable. <laughs> oh. Oh shit, I got stuck on a fucking... Oops. I'm not very good at flying, am I?
in the hand of this. Yay. You've improved, I must admit. That was a bloody good run. Be careful. Earn a reputation for talent around here, and some people get put out about it. Sounds like you're speaking from experience. Yes, well, I am. Anyway, you didn't do abysmally. I can't deny that. But, you'll not have the same luck on the South Coast course. We'll see, won't we? Till next time. I half expected you to back down. Rest on your laurels. See you at the South Coast trial. If you don't lose your nerve. I'll fuck all y'all bitches up. Race this course again. Visit the podium with the leaderboard. Where you can start the race and check your time. I'll be unrivaled at the next course. Another successful... Get any more cozy than Hogsmeade. Being an officer of the law in a quiet village like Hogsmeade is a Back from your latest flight. I want to hear all the particulars. Good news, Mr. Weeks. With your upgrade, I was able to set a new record at the Irondale course. Brilliant! I knew the upgrade had fantastic potential. How did your broom feel? It rides well. Does get a tad shaky at top speed, and the handle wobbles a bit when I hit a strong gust of wind. Ah, yes. Hmm, I see. I think I know how to address that. Thank you. I owe you one. If it means another upgrade, the pleasure's all mine. You sound as determined as I am to improve broom flight. It's a joy to have a collaborator like yourself. If I'm right, and I do hope I am, you'll be hearing good news from me soon. Thank you again, truly. Mr. Weeks and I do make a good team. An honest day's work for an honest fickle. That's my code for it. I wouldn't mind if you were. You're back! Nice to see you again. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, now I gotta go back to fucking rumor requirement. So I can, so I can identify the shapes I fucking forgot to. Medique would like to talk with you when you're having. No. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, I almost died. I'm gonna pick up this flu flame thing while I'm on the way there. Wrong way. Wait, that's the right way. Hold on. Off my down. Rebellion. Wait, actually, hold on. Hey. 
What the fuck do you mean landing's unavailable? I'm on the fucking ground. I'm gonna murder these motherfuckers. Oh shit, they know where I am. Arrest her momentum. Incendio. Let's get this over with, shall we? You come to the wrong place, child. Group with you, don't Exposo! Incendio! Confringo! No, oh, yo, shit, why? Mushrooms, too. Get the shit back there? Okay, apparently not. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu packs. Rebellion. Call out for me all 
you want. I shall be off spending my spoils in Hogsmeade. <laughs> The beasts around here can sleep a bit easier now. If I like to, someone over there. Nuisance when supplies run low, though. Always makes me nervous. When okay. Protego! You'll fill the rest of it. Now you're just getting on my nerves. Stop that at once. <clears throat> Incendio. I want to look up. Incendio! Ready to scurry back to Hogwarts. Incendio's on the ground. Good for you. You're going to surrender. Let's go, you. Incendio. You will not survive this. Yeah. Leviosa. Ripley. You've made a great mistake. I've had enough of this. Leviosa. Sendo. Oh, Crucio. Let's go! Revelio. Is Highwing all right? Natty told me what the two of you did. Highwing's fine. I'm keeping an eye on her. She's safe, Poppy, I promise. Good. Whatever the poachers are up to, I want Highwing far from it. You said you had news about the poachers, and that some of it had to do with me. It did. I overheard them talking in the Hogshead, and... Did you know that they have orders from Victor Rookwood to capture you on sight? Does this have anything to do with Rookwood and Harlow coming for you in the Three Broomsticks after the troll attack? It does, somewhat. But... At the moment, I'm more concerned about what else you heard the poachers are up to. Fair enough. But I hope you'll let me know if I can be of help, especially after what you did for Highwing. Does the name Horntail Hall mean anything to you? I'm afraid not. Why? What is it? The poachers best kept secret, apparently. The name came up twice, but they never went into detail. I also overheard one of them bragging about all the gold they're making, at the expense of innocent creatures, undoubtedly. The poachers spoke of this area, and I thought if we searched around a bit, it might give us clues as to what they're doing. If you ever meet my gran, this trip never happened. Not to worry, Poppy. If I ever meet your gran, I shall not speak a word of this. I normally tell her everything. She might be my best friend after highwing, but she knows how I feel about the poachers. I think she worries I'll do something ill-advised. Well, let's try back into the middle of nowhere, idea. and, uh... Hunting poachers. This way. <gasps> A centaur. Tread carefully. An entire castle to roam, yet you choose to wander here. Please, we don't want any trouble. We're simply passing through. Do you take us for fools? That we do not notice more and more of your kind around here, in league with the poachers? We aren't involved with them. If anything, we want to see them stopped. I hope for your sake that is true. Our kind is swiftly losing patience with the poachers and those they work with. Shit, I would too. He was certainly a charmer. That could have gone worse. Centaurs aren't exactly fans of wizard kind, and the poachers aren't helping matters. 
But why would he think that we had anything to do with poachers? I did notice the poachers talking with a few villagers in Hogsmeade. I'm not sure why. Perhaps that's why the centaurs are suspicious. Damn. That's the third time I've seen a Dugbog behave that violently. It seems that a lot of beasts have been more aggressive than usual lately. I've noticed that too. It's almost like there's something in the water. This is... odd. What is it? Not entirely sure. But look around. If the poachers were here, perhaps we can find out why. Revelio. Why wouldn't they take their cages with them when they left? Pelt. Still smoking. They can't have been gone long. <laughs> this is goblin metal. Seems out of place in a poacher camp. I should tell Poppy about it. Anything interesting? Poachers were here. All sorts of evidence. But I found something else. It's goblin made. I found goblin armor. Let's keep searching, but carefully. Merlin only knows what's going on here. I don't have a good feeling about this. How do mm. goblin and poacher interests align? Look, down there. Definitely poachers. No creatures, though. So what are they doing out here? Let's take a closer look. They won't be happy to see us. Should we use disillusionment? Or perhaps a less discreet approach? Hard to say from Poppy, up here. can you fucking hurry up? Let's get a better lay of the land. Revelio. When have I set my traps? Is it lower or rally behind strength and you can't go wrong? Mind... Show yourself! They come after me. I'll stick them like a nogtail. The trick is to tell us. Ah. Hogwarts is very lucky they've got protection charms, if you ask me. <laughs> The minister for magic himself. Revelio. What is going on here? Only one way to find out. What in Merlin's name? Oh, dragons. It's a dragon fighting ring. His Horntel Hall. The name makes sense now, and the secrecy. No wonder the poachers were in Hogsmeade so much. Likely taking bets and spreading the word, given how crowded it is here. How could they possibly enjoy this? The centaurs have every right to be disgusted with wizard kind. There must be more dragons here. The poachers are far too greedy to run a fighting ring with only two dragons. 
We should take advantage of most eyes being in the fight and look around. But be discreet. You especially can't afford to be spotted. Oh, you're there. You better be a beast. Don't know what Victor was sinking straight in a butt. Through his totalis. Revelio. Have you heard from your family? Has even of your brothers come round to our way of thinking? Will they join us? Nah, they say we go too far. The violence isn't gonna get us what we want. <laughs> I say, if every last wizard is run through with a blade, then violence is gonna get me precisely what I want. Sick of me to work alongside any of them. I don't know how Ramrock's stomach's being near, Rookwood. Protege! Ah. Stoop try! Ah. Arrest them and I'm Revelio. Did you hear those goblins? Ramrock and the poachers must be working together. Poppy, something's going on behind you. What's going on down there? They must have only just captured her. She's putting up quite the fight. Not a fair one, though. Not with her chained up like that. Let's even her up, shall we? Absolutely. from the looks of it. We can't leave it here, not with the plans they likely have for it. Yeah, can you shut the fuck up and let me move faster? Can I? Can you? Why am I moving so fucking slow? Hello, Amora. Let's make them count. Revelio. Oh, what I wouldn't give to be a demo guys right now. Careful! Ramp rope for what is dragon intact! Back to the 
not the bright. Shall we finish what we start? Ah, the lamb returns to the was a Hebridean black. I'm guessing the egg we have belongs to that dragon. I don't think she knew they had her egg. She wouldn't have left without it. What now? She didn't exactly leave us a calling card. I, I don't know. Nothing about this day was expected. Not the goblins and definitely not the fighting ring. The last thing I planned on was a dragon egg. And the poachers saw us, which cannot be good. We aren't helping ourselves standing here. Let's get to safety. We can sort this out later. You're right. If there's anything the poachers are good at, it's tracking their prey. And right now, we're it. Be careful, won't you? I shall see you back at the castle. Rebellion! Okay.
go pick up some more side quests real quick. Oh, oh, a transformation spell, huh? Why can I barely Sparing hear that kind of thing? I could use your help. You wanted to speak with me. I did. Hello. I've heard all about you, of course. Confront. That's nice to hear. I have had my share. I'm going to presume your reputation is in fact warranted, in which, you see, we were learning to repel boggarts in Professor Hecate's class, and, well, mine unfortunately took the shape of a, a puff scheme. They're adorable. Why would you be afraid of a puff scheme? They seem adorable until one sticks its tongue up your nose. Regardless of how reasonable I believe my fear of puff schemes to be, I'm beginning to get a reputation as a coward. Some have even taken to calling me Puff Skeen Dunkeen. I'm sorry to hear that. Words can be cruel. Thank you. Poppy keeps offering to help me in overcoming my fear, but I'm too afraid to take her up on it. Anyway, to make matters worse, I stupidly blurted out that I must be braver than people think since I have been in the Hidden Herbology Corridor. The Hidden Herbology Corridor? Yes. Rumor has it that the Herbology Professor before Professor Garlic kept dangerous plants there. It's supposedly so overrun now that no one dares enter it anymore. I was hoping you could go there and bring back evidence that I could use to show that, well, I'd gone in. Say a bit of an exceptionally dangerous plant of some kind. Very well. If I'm in the area, perhaps I shall take a look. Grand. I'd very much appreciate it. Come and find me if you get the proof. I shall be forever in your debt. Hmm. Hidden Herbology Corridor. Sounds intriguing. Rebellion. Akio. Rebellion. These dry vines are one spark away from becoming kindling. Levioso, Confringo! This must be the entrance to the Hidden Herbology Corridor. Devil's Snare seems to thrive in darkness. Perhaps it doesn't care for light.
Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Incendio. Lumos. Seems the devil's now was protecting a chest of some kind. Revelio. Incendio. Wingardium Leviosa. Good Fringo. Revelio. Confringo. Revelio. I imagine a piece of that enormous venomous tentacular would be enough for Duncan to prove his bravery. Lumos. Incendio. Revelio. Incendio. Revelio. Incendio. Revelio. Have you found anything to, uh, prove- Hello, Duncan. I have the proof. That's one leaf. Must have been a giant venomous tentacular. It's even more than I expected. I appreciate you getting it for- Of course. I hope this helps you prove yourself. This is sure to put an end to Puff Scheme Dunking for good when I show everyone in the common room tonight. This will show ever how ridiculous that nickname was. Thank you again, and have a good day. I know I will. Thank you for all of your help. No more puff scheme dunking for me.
So this is the underground hall. Rebellion. Lumos. Revelio. Rebellion. Off on another adventure, are we? Perhaps the book Professor Weasley wants me to get is upstairs. Revelio. That book Professor Weasley asked me to find should be around here somewhere. Looking for the book Intermediate Transfiguration. Professor Weasley asked me to, uh, get something from that book. May I have it? Did she now? I'll give you this book if you humor me by answering a few questions from my quiz. Quiz? Some people call bits of knowledge trivia. I would argue that no knowledge is trivial. Hence, I have created a small quiz just for fun, focusing mainly on the lore of the wizarding world. None okay. of the other students will try it, no matter how many times I ask. They all say they have enough with schoolwork. Ugh, they don't value knowledge the way I do. Surely you're interested. I'll even start you off with a few of my easiest questions. A quiz sounds like fun. Splendid! Just a few questions. Before the invention of the Golden Snitch, which magical creature was used in the game of Quidditch? Oh, Jesus. The Golden Snidget. Correct! The Snidget was first introduced to Quidditch in 1269 by a wizard named Barbarous Bragg. Sadly, they're thought to be extinct. Next question! Which potion is commonly referred to as liquid luck? Ooh, I know this. Felix Felicis. Well done! Since it makes the drinker temporarily lucky, Felix Felicis is a banned substance in all organized competitions. The tale of the three brothers involves which magical artifacts? Mm. The Deathly Hallows. Correct. According to Beedle the Bard, the Deathly Hallows consists of the Elder Wand, the Resurrection Stone, and the Cloak of Invisibility. Which ball in Quidditch is the largest? Bludger. The Bludger. I'm sorry, but the oh, correct shit. answer was the Quaffle. When a chaser throws the quaffle through one of three hoops in a Quidditch match, their team is awarded 10 points. True or false? 
Polyjuice potion allows the drinker to change species. True. Actually, the answer was false. While uh. Polyjuice potion can be used to change things such as age or race, it cannot be used to change species. Well, I suppose this has gone on long enough. I'll put if you're inclined to test your knowledge again, I and I won't be giving you any more easy questions. I I'd like to answer. What governmental body directly preceded the Ministry of Magic? The Wizards Council. That's correct. The Wizards Council disbanded in 1707 after the creation of the International Statute of Wizarding Secrecy, which required a more structured government to support its enforcement. Which dragon breed is the smallest? The Antipodean Opali. No, I'm sorry, but the answer was the Peruvian Viper Tooth. Though the Viper Tooth is the smallest breed, averaging at around 15 feet in length, it is also the fastest breed and feared for its venomous fangs. Who founded the village of Hogsmeade? Hengist of Woodcroft. That's right! It is believed that Hengist used the Three Broomsticks Inn as his home. The hive behind was accidentally created by crossbreeding a ghoul with what other magical creature? A demiguise. Yes! While the hive behind has the power of invisibility, those who have seen it have described it as a tall, thin monkey with silver hair. What is the only spell known to repel a letherfold? The Patronus charm. Well done! The only known survivor of a Letherfold attack was a wizard named Flavius Belby, who was on holiday in Papua New Guinea at the time. Who published the law of elemental transfiguration? The Verne de Montmorency. That's incorrect. The answer I was oh. looking for was Gamp. One of the principal exceptions to Gamp's law is that food cannot be conjured, Though it can be summoned. What does the Hogwarts motto translate to? Never tickle a sleeping dragon. Correct. In Latin, the Hogwarts motto is Draco Dormians Nunquam Titillandus. Which magical creature is the only one known to produce eggs through its Ooh. mouth? The basilisk. That's incorrect. The correct answer was the rune's paw. According to parcel mouths, each of the rune's paw's three heads serves a different function. The left head is the planner, the middle is the dreamer, and the right is the critic. Where is Ilvermorny School of Witchcraft and Wizardry located? Mount Greylock. Well done! The American school was founded in the 17th century by Esalt Sayre and James Stewart. What is the most powerful love potion known to wizard kind? Amatentia. That's the answer. Amatentia smells differently to every person according to what they find attractive, such as dusty book covers or... <clears throat> Are you interested in continuing on to the next round? They're my most difficult questions. I don't have time for another quiz at the moment. That's fine. Come and find me if you'd like to try later. I put the book back on the pedestal for you. Revelio ought to make quick work of this. Professor Weasley's tasks are complete. I should attend Transfiguration. resource indeed your field guide i'm most pleased to be included as young as me could save my uncle's life uncle roland sends his best he often asks after you and his owls
Settle down, settle down. Transfiguration, as you may be weary of hearing me say, is an exact science that can take a lifetime to master. But we needn't be daunted. Almost anything can be transformed if you can just perceive the potential within it. As I see in all of you, tremendous witches and wizards, every one of you. Or it could just be my eyesight. Now, you all know what to do. Do we? Do we know what to do? You didn't teach us anything. You just turned a fucking ball into a butterfly. Beautifully done. You wanted to discuss my progress so far this term, Professor. I did. You seem to have had no trouble in getting up to speed. And frankly, excelling in your schoolwork this year. Thank you, Professor. The extra assignments have been helpful. As I suspected they would be. Now, it seems you've been making good use of the opportunities presented by your field guide. Of course, the guide isn't the only measure of success. I've heard that you were able to grow a venomous tentacular. Growing such a magical plant is an accomplishment of which you can be quite proud. Thank you, Professor. I will say I'm especially impressed with all you've accomplished in light of the rumors of your extracurricular activities. Was your visit to the kitchens and the Hogsmeade graveyard with Nick to bribe a ghost for information connected in any way to Professor Fig? Not at all. I'm fascinated by ghosts and um, food, and I was interested in learning more about the castle and the surrounding area. I see. I admire your penchant for learning, but do remember that your classwork and field guide are designed to educate you thoroughly. It'll be the end of the year in no time, and you'll want to be well prepared for your OWLs. I'll provide a final assessment at that time to ensure that you're ready for your exams. Until then, well done. You are dismissed. What are you up to now?
Arrest the momentum. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Professor Howard will never believe this. This place has seen better days. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. What is it? What's wrong? Goblins! That's what. I need a little something. You're right. The world's not safe. Oh, I will. Ranrock's lot... And I've you to thank. Please, accept this... Oh, there's a little young Thunderbird. Why are there 400 Doug Bogs here? What's going on?
Confringo. Protego. Stupefy. Well, I'm never gonna need Doug Bog tongues ever again. It's all finished. Revelio. Flopendo. Rebellio. Hello. Do you have anything for sale? Hello. It's not often I see how good students are during the school year. I'm Bria Treadwell at your service. What do you have? Let's have a look, shall we? You won't be disappointed, I can promise you that. So nice of you to stop by. <laughs> I didn't think I'd be the one doing the buying. of you to stop by. Let's have a look, shall we? of you to stop by.
And right after this, I'm gonna go learn Imperio. Excellent work today. Class dismissed. I take it you're ready to... I completed your assignment, Professor. I'm ready to learn Bombarda now. Good. Now, this spell comes with a caveat. The exploding charm, as you might... I will, Professor. I will hold you to that promise. Now, you must be precise in your wand movements. We don't want you blowing your hand off. Go ahead. Nice and steady wand movements. Remember, the exploding charm is highly volatile. Well done. Now, let us put it into practice. Go ahead and try it on the pumpkins. Bombarda. Excellent wand work. Pass the spell just like that every time. Assured and in control. Professor? Yes. Apologies, Prof. <sighs> Good lord. Bird's got me coming all the way out here. Oh, seems a pleasant enough little place. Wonder where they're off to in such a... Finally, rule over wizard. No telling what lies in wait for me in there. I will say that I am jealous, not. You're here. Good. Uh, 
Ranrock has fooled you all to your demise. Emphasis on to your demise. I just yeah. fucked them Good. up. Sebastian, that relic you mentioned. I believe one of Slytherin's students stumbled upon the relic during an assignment to study sarcophagi in this catacomb. From what I read in a report by the student, they weren't permitted to take it with them. So I must assume it's still here. As I mentioned earlier, this relic grants its holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. If it's in this catacomb, I'm ready to... Perfect. I didn't. I promise. Good. Ominous would be livid if he knew what we were about to do. I'll be interested to compare what lies inside to what I've read of... Ooh! I'm sure that foul smell is the scent of success. Try not to lose your nerve just yet. Revelio. Levioso! Descendo! Bombarda! Levioso! Descendo! At least now we know we're not alone in here. Perhaps that was it. And the rest of the tomb Bombarda. was set free. Yeah, spiders aren't insects. Don't start. This room is taller than it looks. Arrest the momentum. Finding Rebellion. an inconspicuous loft. Brilliant. I'd wager the sarcophagi can be opened. Opening all of these is tempting. We're here for a reason. I'd say opening them all is justified. Revelio. Accio. Arrest the momentum. Accio. Descender. Your father. Descender. Rebellion. Watch your step. I nearly slipped there. Now this is the sort of great room I want to be buried in. Surrounded by grandeur. Grandeur and then some. Revelio. Even an altar with a pile of bones. Lovely. Bones outside a sarcophagus. Seems odd. Bombarda. Revelio. Bombarda. Bombarda. 
Revelion. Depulsor. Akio. There's something here by the altar. Revelio. Revelio. We've read the world of another spider. I shall sleep better tonight. Accio, the Guardian Leviosa. What did you find? Accio, the Guardian Leviosa. Revelio. We're in the tomb. I assume eerie sounds come with the territory. Accio! Guardian Leviosa. Revelio. We've made it this far, but clearly we have more to do. Akio! I need to find a safe way across. Akio! Lumos. Akio! Lumos. Akio. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Akio. Guardian Leviosa. Akio. Guardian Leviosa. Rickety Bone Bridge complete. Revelio. Lumos. Accio. Revelio. Accio. Looks like part of a student's diary. It mentions plans to return for the relic and conjuring barricades using bones. Of course. The student summary referenced a space beyond the Great Room, which means this can't be a dead end. I have the report if you want to have a look. Let's divide and con- Hold on to that diary. It does mean- Really? We need to focus on moving- Of course. Brilliant. Rebellion. There's more to this than even I imagined. Before we trudge on further, I just realized something. The student's diary mentions the Imperious Curse. I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to need it here. It's an unforgivable, but useful when you're outnumbered. Places the victim completely under the caster's control. So, if you'd like to learn Imperio, I can teach you.
It's probably wise to know the spell. I couldn't agree more. A spell that could save your life shouldn't be unforgivable. You have a lot at stake. You have an ability that evidently no one's seen for centuries. Focus your wand movement. It's not an easy spell to master. There we go. Something trouble. Arrest their momentum. Luma. Accio. Imperio. Revelio. Revelio. Okay. Considering how well you did on the last one, this should be a cinch. <laughs> how gracious of you. I try. Accio. That works. Keep going. Wingardium Leviosa, arrest the momentum. Hmm, this looks different than what we faced before. Now we're also dealing with rune symbols. Guardian Leviosa. Lumos. Lumos. Accio. You are head and shoulders above these bones. Rebellion. I see why Slytherin's student was so entranced with this place. Arrest the momentum. Protego. Bombardier, Imperio. 
moment there I thought that'd never end. Bombarder. Couldn't bring them. Rebellion. Dead end. Lovely. All that for nothing. Hold on. Don't give up yet. Akio. Sebastian. The relic. Look. Could it be? Revelio. The note and rendition of the relic. It matches. This must be where the student left the relic. I can't believe it. After all this, it lines up. We've really found it. What do you suppose is meant by the dark sacrifice required to realize the relic's potential? I have no idea. But we... The note advises to leave the relic alone. I assure you, we were meant to find this. I'm taking it. Let's get to Feldcroft. I must keep this relic secret. Rebellion. Especially from my uncle. Uh-oh. Is that... Ominous? Ominous. The sounds we kept hearing. It was you. You gave me no choice. I had to follow you. Sebastian, please. Leave the relic alone. We can find another way to help Anne. I'm sorry, Ominous, but I'm taking it. No, you're not. If you won't put it back, then I will. Hold on, both of you. Sebastian, please, take a step back. Fine. But Ominous knows I won't step back from a fight. Can't believe this. How much did you hear? Everything. I was glad to hear you tell Sebastian to leave the relic. We need to stand together. Convince Sebastian this is wrong. And if nothing will change his mind? Something has to. I need your help. You're right. This seems far riskier than Sebastian realizes. Good. We're agreed. We don't allow him to leave here with the relic. I do think we should talk to him, but I fear we won't stop him from taking the relic. What are you suggesting? I'm suggesting we negotiate. We allow Sebastian to leave with the relic under one condition. After this, no more. I feel that's what we agreed to in the scriptorium. I'm being taken for a fool. You're not, Ominous. This may be the only way to keep your friendship intact. Let's trust him to know what's best. Fine. If I trust him on this, I'm trusting you too. The dark arts seem harmless until it's too late. <sighs> Go then. Leave with the relic. I'll not say a word more. I hope I don't regret this. Sebastian, we're ready. What is it? I haven't changed my mind. Ominous has. Let's go. What? Ominous? I'll explain on the way. Come on. Revelio. Well, what happened back there? Ominous and I found a compromise. Ominous simply needs a moment with you and he'll change his mind. Is that it? I told him we ought to give you this chance, that the relic is too important to ignore. There has to be more to it than that. Tell me. We agreed on what was needed, Sebastian. You have my word. I never wanted to keep all this from Ominous. He just doesn't understand. And I did want to worry him all over again.
As we were leaving, Ominous wouldn't even acknowledge me. That's not like him. He was troubled, Sebastian. Even though we agreed to it all, it's been a lot to take in. I thought he understood. He knew we couldn't give up. All of this is too important. For Anne. Oh dear. That doesn't look good. When we get to Feldcroft, I'd rather Anne not know what had to be done to get this relic. She thinks like ominous. It had only upset her. Oh no. This isn't good. What is it? Smoke. Over there, by the hamlet. Feldkopf's in trouble. They're under attack. Let's hurry. Pity. Not quite. Oh, that was meant for me. Let me also! Stay back! We have to fight. I will not. One less shoot. Got it. That was unimpressive. You're not with here. Be careful. We've got them. They'll retreat. Oh, Make them retreat. Oh, I'm handling it. I'm handling it. Super one. Rubber up. Rebellion. Get away. Get back. Keep out the way. Ginger. We have to fight. Boy, what have you done? Saved my sister. With an unforgivable curse. From that damned book, no doubt. Your father would be ashamed. You've gone too far, Sebastian. Stay away from her. From all of us. <laughs> what did my uncle expect me to do? The Imperious Curse saved Anne's life. That goblin was going to kill her. You did what you had to do. If I have to keep proving that to my uncle, I will. He cannot banish me from my own home. From my sister. It might be best to let him calm down a while. May I speak to him? Perhaps I can help to ease the tension a bit. You may be right. Very well. Probably best if I get away from here for a while. I'll head back to Hogwarts. Revelio. What was he thinking? Pardon me, Mr. Sallow, 
What Sebastian did was inexcusable. You cannot possibly be about to defend him. Sebastian and I have encountered Ranrock's loyalists before. That goblin would have killed Anne. This family does not resort to using dark magic even against our enemies. What Sebastian did cannot be undone. That you are defending Sebastian's behavior at all tells me everything I need to know. You are as guilty as he is. You are dumb Sebastian bitch. Sebastian is to come nowhere near Feldcroft, nowhere near Anne. Unforgivable curses are so named for a reason. If I hear that either of you continues down this path, if either of you uses dark magic, I will notify the headmaster immediately. Why, Sebastian? I wonder who lives here. Hmm. Rebellion. Hello, Hamora. What do we have here? Rebellion. Mine now, demi guys. Rebellion. Rebellion. Oh, can't really use that. I thought it was one of the big ass eye chests. This house is still on fire. Revelio. Three galleons. Wow. Maybe this motherfucker likes Quidditch. Revelio. Accio.
nice to see you, my young friend. Just looking at a wall. Did you speak with my uncle? I wish I had better news about... Well? I'm afraid he wants you nowhere near Feldcroft. Nor Anne. I had to stop that goblin from killing my sister. He had no right to banish me from my own twin. <sighs> if he thinks banishing me means I'm going to give up on Anne, he's sorely mistaken. He also said he cannot excuse the use of dark magic in any form. And that if he hears of either of us using it, he'll go straight to Professor Black. Huh? That relic, dark magic or not, is the key to saving Anne. To reverse that curse. I will not lose Anne for good. I should send the crest to Anne. She'll know that we need to meet. I'm afraid I don't follow. Nothing, just a thought. Are now I'm more again. determined than ever to learn what power that relic has. I shall wait to hear from you then. Thank you. I very much appreciate you standing by me through all of this. I'll send you an owl when I have news. Rebellion. Repairer. Rebellion. Accio. Revelio to talk with you when you have a moment. Shut the fuck up, Deke.
Everything's all right now.
would like to talk with you when you have a moment. Fucking work, Deke. Hello, Deke. Professor Weasley said you wanted to tell me more about the loom. Ah, hello. Uh, yes, about that. Deke has had a thought. He. <laughs> What the fuck is that? Oh, oh, seems the room thinks you need more space for your beasts. A as Deke was saying, uh, he's had a thought. Now, Deke knows how you can test the item of clothing that you enhanced in the enchanted loom. Why the fuck did it just over like was... help an old friend in the process? What do you mean? A house elf named Tobbs works for his master, retrieving leech juice in a cave near Hogwarts. Tobbs' master doesn't let him leave the cave. Indeed, knows the cave is infested with spiders. That sounds awful. It is. Deke hasn't heard from his friend for a while now. As the item you wove in the loom has an enchantment that might be useful, Deke thought you could test it while... I understand. Leave it to me. Oh, thank you. Thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. I can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. I think we'll be back momentarily. I'm gonna take uh, take a small break. I'll save it first, just in case. All right, I'll be back.
I've returned. Ooh, that's not supposed to happen. Oh, I'm gonna go here, right? Yeah. No, that's really not supposed to happen. Uh, Ooh, excuse me. Here's one of those tables Professor Shaw mentioned. Tasty. Bombarda. Okay, now you know I have to fucking grab a unicorn. Since I'm here anyway. They come after me, they'll rest in ten graves. Turn my back for one second and what happens? Calamity! Just the very moment I don't have every one of you standing in my line of sight is a disaster. And the first one of you is say, Do you really think you can best me? Let me out! Oh! Oh! Let me out, son! Rebellion. You're in a heap of trouble. Let me go. I heard something. Thought we'd forget. Akio. You're the best. Oh, it's daytime now, so. 
New moon cast for me. This must be Tobbs's cave. I suppose I should head inside. Too soon. Akio. Revelio. Levioso, Bombarda. Confringo. Revelio. Tobbs' master is awful. Tobbs? Tobbs? Deke sent me. Are you in here? Revelio Crucio Imperio Revelio. Large buddy. Bombarda Descendo Expelliarmus Revelio Bombarda Confringo Bombarda.
Confringo. Revelio. Slippy. Imperial. That didn't sound particularly reassuring. Don't like that. Don't like that at all. Rebellion. You're so foul. Rebellion. Rebellion. Oh no, I have a feeling that house elf is tops. Poor tops, left here alone with the spiders. Damn. Rebellion. Can 
table looks familiar. Seems I'm back at the entrance to the cave. Rebellion. I'm back from the cave, Deke. Wonderful. Uh, uh, Deke hopes you gave Deke's best to Tobbs. I'm sorry to tell you this, Deke, but Tobbs is gone. It seems he was unable to avoid the spiders in the end. Oh, my. Deke was afraid of this, alone in that cave for so long. Oh, poor Tobbs. Uh, Deacon Tobbs once shared the same master. When he... died, uh, we were separated. Deke always wished Tobbs had been sent to Hogwarts, too. Well, Deke feels lucky to serve such kind witches and wizards like you. Deke will miss his friend dearly, and will raise a glass to him with a heavy heart. <laughs> I'm truly sorry about your friend, Deke. Thank you. You are very kind. Deke could use some time alone to think, if that's all right. Hmm. I'm bad for house elves. I'm not gonna lie. after you. Expelliarmus. That's not what I wanted to do.
Revelio. Accio. Revelio. Rebellion. Rebellio. Revelio Accio. Rebellion. Accio. Spare a moment. Deke has an idea to share with you. Hello, Deke. You wanted to talk to me. Indeed. Uh, Deke thought you might want to learn how to build a breeding pen uh, so that you can breed beasts. That sounds like a very good idea. Rescuing and breeding beasts go hand in hand. Uh, young beasts are particularly vulnerable to poachers. Breeding beasts here in the room will allow us to keep the younger ones safe. I see. What do I need to do? First, bring a pair of beasts to the room, one male, one female. Deke suggests rescuing Thestrals, as they're at great risk from poachers. Noble creatures, but their relationship with death gives them a bad reputation. 
They're prized by poachers for their tail hairs. I've seen Thestrals before, but where would I find a pair of them nearby? Deke has seen some wild... Then you'll need to purchase a spellcraft for the pen from tomes and scrolls and gather them. Once you've read... Got the Thestrals already. Means I just need a pen. Here I come. Ah, it's always nice to see a familiar face. Now we can conjure a breeding pen in the room. Best get back to Deke with the Thestrals. Nothing like finding just the right thing, is there? Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Let me know if there's anything else I can do. I've rescued the Thestrals and bought the spellcraft for the pen. Excellent. Now, to breed your Thestrals, simply release them into the same vivarium in which you conjure the pen. Then use the pen to start the process. I shall. never grows tired of the room's surprises. We now have the perfect place for those Thestrals. Please let Deke know once you've bred them.
Professor Howell will never believe this. Perhaps he can conjure the head. Revelio. Can y'all fucking move? Holy shit. Fuck's sake. First of all, it's clearly in a playable area, but sure.
Magia. Victoria Blaviosa. Revelio. I fucking hate these animals. I fucking hate them. I fucking hate every one of them. Rebellion. Bunch of fucking room in this one. Akio. It really does look like shit, don't it?
Alright, I think it's about time I, uh, hit the dusty trail. I will, uh, I'll be streaming tomorrow. So, uh, fuck y'all. Yeah.